Hey everybody! Welcome to another episode of Book Talk with myself, Miss Rachel, and my two bookworms here, Zoe and Maddie. Um, so we are going to start off today, we're going to talk about um, the things that we're reading, of course, as usual, and then we're going to hop into our topic of the day, which is cliffhangers. So who would like to start with what they're reading today? Who wants to start? Is it going to be me? <laughs> I guess it's going to be me, huh? <laughs> okay, it'll be me. Um, so this week, I read a really cool book called The Retake by Jen Kalanita. And she has written some series. This is a standalone story. And basically, our main character is, um, her name is Zoe. And she is going into middle school. Yes, she's going into seventh grade. And I know, right? And so she and her best friend, Laura, um, are kind of looking forward to doing it together. And she's really excited. And the story opens with, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So she's really excited. And um, she's um, planning a birthday party for her friend Laura and she's really looking forward to having her um, to being back for the summer and spending the rest of the summer with her friend but then when when uh, when she gets back she realizes that her friend has kind of ditched her for this other group of girls um, and she's feeling weird about it she's feeling like her friend is pulling away from her um, so the really cool part of this story is that she ends up with this mysterious app on her phone called the retake app. Basically it's a time travel app. And so she can click on any picture in her Instagram feed and it will automatically take her back to that moment so that she can quote unquote fix things with her friend. Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> um, it's a really neat little premise. There's a little bit of, time travel in there, a little magic. Um, but it's also like a very real story of, you know, when you have friendships that are kind of, you know, changing or app. Mm -hmm. They can do that. I don't well, in this story there is. That would be very interesting if there was an app that could actually do that. Um, but I highly recommend it. I couldn't put it down. I read it in one sitting pretty much over this weekend. Um, so I think you guys will really like it too. And like I said, she's got a bunch of other books. She's most, she mostly writes fantasy. So this is a little different for her. Um, but I really liked it. It's called the retake. Who wants to go next? Maddie. Okay, go ahead. What are you reading? Um, I haven't read this book, but it's called the dragon. O P S. Oh, dragon ops. Okay. And it's about, like, a team who, um, so they, so this, it says, my sister reaches out, squeezes my hand hard. Remember, this is only a game, she whispers. But the thought was, wasn't as comforting, comforting as it should have been. As my eyes fell in the dragon's belly, glowing a dark, deep red, it, as its swarm of deadly fire, because this might be a, because this might be a game, but only one wrong move would be a game over. This time forever. Ooh, that sounds good. That sounds very suspenseful. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Like a, it's kind of like a do or die situation, huh? Hmm, I like that. Is that a series? Does it say there's another book? Or is it just the one book? I think it's just a one book. There's seems like something that it, it seems like something that would be a series, but okay. Yeah, maybe there's maybe it's coming, but it's just not not done yet. I'm not, sure. I'm not so sure there's a series, but no. Very cool. Thank you for sharing. What are you reading, Zoe? Um, I, okay, this is going to be kind of offensive to you guys. I haven't been reading a ton. That's okay. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. 
Um, I don't know. I've kind of just been chilling. I've been reading my script. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. I've kind of just been taking my time uh, studying my lines and all of, like, this... Well, not... I don't have lines yet, but, like, the lines yeah. and all of, of the song and learning to sing all of the songs. Um, That's a big job. And... Yeah. I haven't really been, like... I haven't really had all the time to read. That's a ton. That is totally I've been reading the uh, Tapper Twins series, though, kind of, like, over the course of, like, the last two months. <laughs> um, That's a good one. It, it, yeah. It's just really funny, and I I don't know. I can just kind of relate to it because my brother is... Uh, I mean, he's not really an athletic kid like Reese is, but he's still, like, I don't know, kind of, like misses some things <laughs> um, the sibling relationship is yeah we can all relate to that if we have siblings like, like i was just rereading um tapper twins go to war with each other mm-hmm. um and i'm like that is totally me like in all of those books i'm like i sound like claudia sounds just like me i want to meet the so awesome. like <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah that's awesome so. very good yeah that one's a really good series i remember book talking that one i'm glad you like it good good and it's totally um i want to like us do like a side what's the word i'm looking for an aside i guess um i think we've talked about this a couple times but it's totally like normal to go on you know if you stop reading or you haven't read for a while or you just can't find anything that that you're interested in um, that that happens I mean sometimes that can go on for like years you know um where you just can't find anything that kind of fits you at the moment and you're doing other things and and that's kind of part of being a reader and part of being a writer is like exploring all your other interests. So I'm glad that you guys are doing other things that you're interested in. What do you like to do besides reading, Maddie? I like to play sports. Oh, what do you play? I like to play soccer. And then this year we're going to do, for summer, we're going to do some goal. Oh, very good. That's awesome. Very awesome. So are you on like a team? That uh, We just do it by ourselves. Oh, cool. That's fun. I love it. Um, everyone meet Frederico. <gasps> um, Hello. <laughs> Hi, Frederico. It's so I don't nice know. To meet you. I kind of just had to make him recognize. I was just like, he was just basically sitting right here on the <laughs> table, and I was just kind of staring at him. You're having a stare oh, off. Where did you get Fred Rico at? Like four years ago, <laughs> and he's just been sitting on um the shelf over there for like. No, <laughs> but I just put him on the desk, and you know he's kind of been my buddy. Aww, he's super cute. Yes, you can also like put things in him. Oh, cool! If you turn him upside down, then they'll stay in. If you do this, then I guess not so much. It falls out. <laughs> he would be a great sidekick. He came to life. Yeah. What if I? What if I'm like one of those like villains that oh, are yeah. like, ha 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 ha, ha and just ha- like turn around with like, like all all like evil geniuses have like a cat or something that they're petting. But yeah. I have a dead frog. Yes. Ha 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 ha. I love that. I love it. That's okay. Great. Sorry. Continue. No, no. 
You're totally fine. It was very nice to meet Frederico. How did he get the name Frederico? I don't know. I just kind of just named him one day. You know, like, it's like naming, like, a puppy. You're like, dang, what should I name this thing? And then one day you're like, oh, spots or something. Like, yeah, I name everything. Everything gets a name. Like, my car has a name. Yeah. Yeah. You can also open his mouth. Oh, cute. That's really cute. Do you name What's him, Maddie? What? Do you name things? Yeah. Yeah. What's your car's name? Oh, my car's name is Ron. Can you guess why? Why? Well, my car is red. Oh. <laughs> so he's he's Ron Weasley. He's, we're gonna we're gonna change the topic since we've kind of run out of things to say about cliffhangers. And um, we're gonna talk about names. I like names. Is there a name oh, you can think? Let's talk about names. Let's talk about, <laughs> about animals. Let's talk about names. Animals. Yeah. Animals. And what, like, what is your favorite, like, if you could use a name, like, what's a name that you're saving for, like, is there a name that you're saving for a character that you're writing or a, a pet that you might have someday, like a name? Sabrina. Sabrina? I, I love the name Sabrina. I don't know why. It's just such a nice name. It is a nice name. I do like that um, name. I like to name my characters, like, if they're, like, all, like, wizards or witches or something. And I think I told you about this last week. Um, But we, um like, I would, like, there would, like, their last names would all be, like, a gemstone or something. So yeah. Do you have a favorite name, Maddie? So sure, I don't think I do. No favorite names. Do you have any oh, that like, you would come across in a story or anything that you really, really liked? Julia. Julia, that's a nice name. Well, my favorite name is Zoe, but <laughs> of course. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I kind of hate my name. Um, Yay, why? I don't know. I just, I'm always like the last in line. You know, <laughs> like I don't know. I, I'd rather be named, like, I don't know, something else. Something else? But, well, would you name yourself Sabrina, then, if you could? If you could I don't know, I guess. Like, that's, that's an interesting trait of, like, humans in general, is we like to categorize things so that it makes sense to us. Yes. Yeah. When things don't fall into a category, I think it makes a lot of us nervous. Mm hmm like names that have like a meaning. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of the time when I'm coming up with character names, I'd like go and search up like baby girl names or something like that mean the moon or something. Like if they're like a moon goddess or something when I'm writing something like that and that doesn't really happen often. And I need a name, I'd search up um girl names that mean moon, moon. Yeah. and um, it would come up um, and I click on like the first link um, and Artemis is on here Ayla yeah. I want to see if Yue is in here <laughs> oh yeah yeah well thank you everyone for joining us for book talk this week we will see you again next week with a new episode see you next time bye, bye. bye.